All right. If this video is longer than eight minutes, I'm going to be very surprised. Um, very, very uncomfortable here. It's uh, not a track that I've raced a lot, like the old version. Love it. Ran a ton of it. It's a new version. Have not really been on it. And uh, it's, I've been struggling through some of those new horrible Mickey Mouse corners where you're just coasting at 50 miles an hour just so you don't loop it. So we are starting 12th, although it looks like we're going to gain a spot because someone didn't grid. Uh, rolling starts here suck with the final complex coming to the start straight. So uh, it's pretty much going to be a single file start. And just uh, hopeful that we can survive and I don't make any mistakes that take anyone else out. That's the last thing I want. So, yes, I'm on mediums. Um, just more comfortable on mediums for some reason. I don't know what it is. But uh, I just feel better on them and feel like it's a better option for me, even though soft, soft is the quickest way. Green flag, green flag. Wasn't sure where that Red Bull was. Let's go racing. Ease through here. It's they're going too wide. Didn't know where they were going to end up. Everyone's doing a little lockup, going wide. The dirt on the outside there is just painful if you hit it. We're just going to take our time. Miss issues like that. And uh, slowly get around this track. Maggots and Beckets, I'm absolutely terrible through. I have no rhythm in this car through it. Cannot figure out the rhythm. Oh, that's the first time I've had uh, a car in front of me through there. Lots of push. Wasn't ready for that. All right, so made it one full time around from where we started. I'm not aggressive enough on corner entries. This track requires some really aggressive corner entry and ability to break without being terrible. Aggression and precision here. We got one flipping, another one flipping. Didn't know where he was gonna end up and completely missed breaking, but that's fine. I wanna get this guy past me before he throws it in on a corner. All right, all of that, I was just confused on everything where cars were flipping around. And yeah, my brain cannot think fast enough sometimes with this car. Too many things going on through that section. So, got that guy past me. Let's sit in this spot and hopefully not make any stupid mistakes. It's a really fun track. But if you screw up some parts, you just lose so much time. I am the number two car here. Obviously not the second quickest. I know I could take that more aggressive. I should be pushing out. I shouldn't be taking as much curb. I'm just doing what's comfortable, but that was a screw up. There's going to be a lot of stupid stuff you're going to see here. Little lift there, heavy on fuel. Locking up the tires. 
really having issues with that complex right now. Overdriving the car, just need to ease it into corners and not outdrive myself. Almost turned in a bit too early there. Red car's coming. After him, we've got five seconds back, it looks like. I can attack the front of that much harder, but I just completely screw up when I do that. So The four and the three, though, are the cars behind him. They had issues, and that's why they're behind us. So they'll be catching. Red car, much better on braking. This complex is just crazy until you get to here and then it sucks. Just can't believe how quick we're going through there. Oh, we pushed wide, that's gonna help get him off my tail a bit then he's gonna lose some more getting passed by the three car who actually got pole and I believe he was on mediums and got pole so that sucks for him and yeah, if someone looped it I just don't feel like if I go onto the softs, I'm going to be able to hold on to them at all. I feel like they're just going to fall apart on me just because of my poor driving. I feel like I'm going to overheat them with all my mistakes. So, plus, I'm just more comfortable on these mediums. I don't know what it is. Wow, well, that's stupid. I should be doing about 30s, high 30s. Um, not coming anywhere close to that at the moment. But we're in seventh and we're pulling away from the 11. After his mistake, he's kind of fallen off. The three and the four have fallen off more. Actually, the three's gone. So, looking like maybe a 7th place finish, but there's also a little under 30 laps to go, which means there's 30 times around each of these corners that I can't screw up. But yeah, I've taken this very slow compared to what I'm supposed to because you see stupid stuff like that where I don't even get an apex. Maybe start attacking that corner a bit more. Need to work on braking, but that's always been my weakest spot. And maximizing the track surface by going out and using rumble strips on corner entries and stuff like that. It's just... I race between the white lines. It's much safer for me to do that. Way underdrove that one. 
So yeah, this is the longest run I've ever done. We'll see how it goes. The red car is holding steady with us. As is the yellow car ahead. Not getting one X's, so that's good. Three point two to the five car. A little more aggression through there. Early braking, though, because I am scared of my braking ability. And sadly, we clipped that stupid sausage. Almost forgot which turn one I was in. For a moment, thought I was in old turn one. A little wide. Shift down to second. Use way more wheel than I do in anything. Very, very bad through that. A little wide, that's fine. There's no X's out there for some reason. more aggression through the second bit of that still not confident enough to attack the third bit apex optional there I guess All right, so sitting right around 32s the whole time. It's getting harder and harder to turn in there. I need to start doing it a little earlier. Shift a second through here. Not too much throttle. You're pretty much just, at least I am, coasting through all of this. 3.6 and 2.5, so pretty even. So we're going to halfway pitting and then doing another half on these tires. That's the plan. I need to set my fuel though, which I forgot to do while we were gridded. And now that I'm thinking about that, I'm forgetting where I'm at and luckily didn't lose too much time through that. Try to set my fuel now. All right. Really enjoying this car. I mean, not good, but it's fun to do this. I mean, I'm not really racing anyone. Holy crap, I cut that. But it's just, it's its fun to try to control this. It's not something I will ever be fast in because everything that I'm bad at is required in this to be really quick. Yellow car screwed up again. I'm on the strips. Too much throttle out there. And we're all within four seconds of each other for this sixth spot.
Uh, that's what happens when I try to be aggressive. And then I'm just way off and losing time down the straightaway. Oops, that was not a gear that I wanted. First gear is absolutely pointless in this thing. Right there. This guy's made a couple of mistakes, so if I can kind of hold this spot, keep him under pressure, maybe we'll get a few more, be able to get past him. aggressive on the throttle out of there. I got scared I was going to push wide though. I'm losing a lot of time here just not being aggressive, but there's a 1x on the outside of that that scares me. And I don't need to be racking those up. All right, getting down close to the 31s now. He's wide. on the throttle there. And have a bit of draft down the straightaway. Could have gained a bit there, but kind of coasted into the last half of that breaking point. Little lift, wasn't sure if arrow was going to be an issue, kind of cut it too much. Too much throttle through there. His lines are a lot different than mine as well, so this is going to be interesting. And my racecraft on road courses is terrible. Knowing how to pass is not what I'm good at. So having to brake a little bit there to push through the bad air. Too much of a cut there, but actually worked. Figured I was going to get a 1x there. A lot of push through here, though. Get a little bit of draft, though, to make up for that. Overdrove that, especially with the arrow. Oh, 
That was too much. He made a mistake, but so did we. Pushing wide now, which he hasn't done this whole time. That's not an option for me. We were both going to die if I did that. We pushed wide. I didn't get a good run out of there, but he pushed wide. If you've ever watched any of my road videos, dude, you don't want to be racing me. Alright, he's pitting. Too wide. Overdrove. And what the fuck is happening now? Alright, well the 11 just caught us because of all those stupid mistakes there. It's like all of a sudden now my front tires are not turning. get going. Need to get some decent laps so he doesn't come back out ahead of us once we pit. We've given up second and a half there. So, very likely he will be ahead of us when we pit. Also, I have not even attempted a pit stop here, so we're going to be very slow on entry. Big cut. I don't know if I heated up the tires behind him or what's going on. Or just overdriving now. there. That was pathetic. I'm way too slow through there. Almost get a one X on exit for no reason. Car's not turning. Probably didn't help that I was bouncing through that. And then, wow. Pathetic.
Oh no, what happened to the 11? Did he pit? He must have pit. I don't think he's wrecked. Alright, we're going to go ahead and come in and pit. Oh my god. I was looking at my fuel and tires to make sure they were set. Wow. Dumbass of the year award now goes to me. Please don't be damaged. Please don't be damaged. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> what a stupid, 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 stupid mistake that was. Let's just get it fixed. Wow. I cannot believe that. What an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe I just did that. Alright. Start the car up. <laughs> See if it even drives after this. Well, I think it's okay. Hard to tell. We've got the leader coming up on us. It feel there's like something kind of funky, but I don't know if it's just new tires. It might be a little off center right now. I cannot believe I did that. Yeah, it's a bit off-center, but I think we can get away with it. Lost a lot of spots, though. Actually, I should be in fourth. It looks like there was a incident or more people crashed in pitting. I don't know. Because the 11 car is up in 5th. I guess I should be 5th then, but... Oh my god. It's all gone to hell. Need to get past this guy and see how it actually feels.
force him to go wide. Oh my god. Alright, I'm done. Too many mistakes. Can't race around other people. Well, cannot believe that I fucking ran into the wall. 40 seconds of damage. Could add a decent finish. Doesn't look like there was actually any damage left on that, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm disappointed. That was stupid to spin there, too. So, we'll uh, move on to the next week. This track's just not good for me. And, you know, at least I didn't wreck anyone, but... Oh, that's so disappointing. Oh, five car wrecked out somehow. Had to be on his outlap or something. Oh, well, he wrecked on exit of the pits. That's the kind of quality racing you get with uh, the splits I'm in. <laughs> multiple people wrecking in pit lane. So, yeah. We're all great. Hope you enjoyed it at least, and we'll uh, get back to oval racing where I belong. But keep trying to do this. Hopefully get a little better. At least I made it halfway. So, thanks for watching.